uh, let's solve these two statements console dot log plus console dot log minus give it a pause and try to find the output let's put this in the browser console the value is 99 and 0 so how this happen plus is 99 and minus is 0 so what happens is for plus operator for plus operator the behavior is it can be applied to numbers and as well as uh, strings so what happens uh, for a string if you use the plus operator for a string it will concat so here what happens is it it concat it 9 and string 9 got uh, concatenated so that's what happens for plus and what happens for minus is minus operator can only be applied to numbers so if it is applied to string it will convert that to a number so 9 is uh, the string 9 is converted to numeric 9 and 9 minus 9 is 0 so if you apply that to 9 minus a b c definitely it will be a, a nine, which means not a number so the numeric it when, when, when javascript converts the string to a number it is not a number so that it returns not a number coming to the next one so we have an array of roots here and uh, in the next line we are setting the length property to zero so what will be the value of uh, this statement let's uh, first see the output copying it and okay, pasting it here okay it's undefined so let's see what is happening so here we are setting the length uh, property of roots uh, uh, array to zero so reducing the length reducing the length of an array has a side effect it will delete the own elements own array elements between the old values and new value so see here what happens is we are setting the length to zero which means it will uh, delete all the elements of the array so uh, what if we were uh, trying to uh, set here we have the original uh, array length as three so here we are setting it to two so what happens we, we are still getting it as apple so if you see the fruits uh, array it has apple and orange so banana is deleted so original it was three and uh, it is reduced to two so the last one is deleted so that is the uh, side effect of setting the reducing the value of the length property of an array coming to the next one what will be the output of b here here means remember it is outside the function scope give it a pause and think let's put it in the browser console all right so b has also returned the value 5 so how does this happen the value of b is output printed outside the function and still it is returning the value 5 so why this happens is the statement where a equal to b equal to 5 is equal to is, is, is similar to writing it as a equal to 5 and b equal to 5 so this statement is equal to this statement okay so we have the var var keyword for a variable but we don't have the var keyword for b variable so if we have var keyword it, the function the since we have the var keyword for a variable the scope of the variable scope of a variable is restricted to this function this is having function scope but since b is not defined b is not defined inside this function the the scope of this b is global b is having global scope since a is defined inside the function it is having the function scope so if we output the value of a here a is not defined since b is having the global scope we can output b outside the function as well okay